to take time to cultivate your inner life. The battle for purity is won or lost uh, out there in the noisy trenches of the world's temptations, but first and foremost, at home or by yourself, in quietness, on our knees, those are what prepare us for doing the right thing in the noisy trenches of temptation out there in the world. Um, our busyness can rob us of the pra regular practices of prayer and meditation and worship, can erode our souls, it can wear down our ability to hear the Spirit's promptings and warning signals. Do you ever, do you ever get a sense of God is warning you? This is not a good situation. Get out of here and get out now. Uh, this, this is not good. Don't stay here and pray about it for a while. Just get out of here. And that's that resist, get, uh, not just resist, but flee. Flee. Fatigue becomes disorienting. Uh, fatigue is one of our, our big enemies, and I'm feeling it right now. You probably are too, right? I mean, aren't we all tired? Uh, um, but we have to push through fatigue. But on the other hand, we... There's limits to it, and we know it helps to know that in 20 minutes uh, we're going to be done. I mean, I hope I'm not putting you through total misery uh, or myself. Or, you know, but, but the point is, it's hard work. This being a student and being a teacher, a professor, it's not easy. And when I hear people tell me that, oh, it's just easy. I got it down pat, man. I prepared that 20 years ago, and I just teach the same stuff. I just go, well, I doubt if it's very good. Because it's not going to be fresh, and it's not going to be your argument. The more we invest, the, more, the difference it makes. And the same thing, as a student, the more you give yourself to it. But fatigue in the spiritual life can be very disorienting, and it makes us oblivious to the true condition of our soul. And that's why some people who in the morning never would have, if they had a television remote control in front of them, never would have turned and looked at that questionable movie or program, but it's late at night. You know what, if it's so late at night that you can't make a wise moral choice, it's too late for you to be watching television, right? It's true. And when I say you, I mean me too. I find it essential to have a daily quiet time, to spend time in the Bible and prayer, to read a good book, to exercise, uh, I, I, which I try to do regularly. It's difficult. It's more difficult for me when I'm traveling usually. Um, listening to uh, worship music, having a leisurely talk with my wife over coffee, you know, whatever. These are just things that build up a reservoir uh, within you uh, that helps you be ready to deal with life.